What's up, YouTube? It's the dawn, where shit gets real. And today, I'm going to keep it real with you. Real, real with you. Today, we're going to be talking about this Cloud 571 RDA. It looks like that. Okay? So, it kind of looks like a, a submarine. I've seen a couple pictures where, yeah, here's one. It looks like a little submarine. Um... Because it's got the little turbo fan at the bottom. And if you hold it like it. First of all. If you got this in your cart somewhere on eBay. At the store, don't even click order. I'm telling you right now. Don't click it. This is some straight bullshit. It's straight bullshit. Alright. But I'm going to do a review on it. Because I wasted my money on it. And I don't want you to waste your money on it. Okay. Now, it comes in three different colors, uh, black, it looks like a, almost like a Tiffany blue, and a stainless, okay? Um, I forget what color I got, I think I got black. As you can see on the back, this thing, there we go. Okay? Let me see what color I got. <clears throat> I got the stainless, okay? So, you can put the stainless tube on there. I'm going to go ahead and put the stainless tube on there. Just note how easy this this thing. The O-rings suck ass on, on both sides. I mean, it's so easy. It's one O-ring holding it on, and that O-ring sucks, okay? I even try, and on the, the, the metal portion of it, the stainless steel portion, it's the same way. They do not hold at all. I mean, it's so easy to come off, okay? So, you know what? Let me take a tote with it on it like this. This is the most jankiest thing I've ever bought, okay? One of the most jankiest things I ever bought, okay? Now, I do like the design of the drip tip, okay? So, it's got, it, it's impossible to get spit back in your mouth the way it's designed. Okay, so the way it's designed, that's the drip tip. Okay, so as you can see, there's no hole that goes all the way through. The actual holes come out through, the air comes up through the side, through those little chambers. Okay, which prevents the spit back, which I think is a great idea. There's a couple other ones that did this. I think the 454 Big Block did it. But not to this magnitude. It was a little smaller, smaller drip tip it had. The bottom of it was blocked off and the air came through the sides. Now the drip tip, the way that's designed, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. But everything else, it's some straight garbage. Okay, so it's got a little fan on the bottom that's supposed to spin as you're inhaling. Um, and once it gets a drop of juice down there, it doesn't spin anymore. Um, it just doesn't. And you have to really, really pull on that thing for it to spin. I'm going to take a tote. Hopefully, I doubt if you can see it, but <clears throat> you won't, it won't. It will hardly spin. I had to really pull on that thing for it to spin. Okay, so there's no airflow control on this thing. You know what? I'm going to stop bashing it up top. We're going to go down close up and bash it. And then I'll come back up and bash this shit some more. Because it's some straight garbage. So let's just go up go up close and bash the fuck out this motherfucker. Alright, so we're up close with this piece of crap. Um, as you can see, it says, uh, what is that? Sig Cloud uh, 571 RDA. If this thing would focus. You know, let me try something real quick. Let me put this in autofocus. Um, let me take it out of autofocus. So, it says Sig Cloud 571 RDA uh, rock the world soundlessly. Wow. Okay. Um, <laughs> I didn't even notice that before. Uh, let's see. Uh, special top de design avoid overheating e-juice spilling. Okay, wow. Unique bottom what is that? Stalled? Fan. Perfect bottom cooling system, clear glass tube. 
Okay, so guys, I'm, I'm reading this from my computer screen, so it's, it's a little difficult. So, you, like I said, you can get it in three different colors, black, uh, like a Tiffany blue, or stainless. I thought that was silver, but it's stainless, okay? So, um, that's that. Okay, so let's open the box on the side. It's got some symbols, 18, no pregnancy, blah, 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 blah. Uh, iCloudSig.com and a picture of a, a submarine with 571 RDA on it, okay? So, when you open the box, I forget what was, what was right here. It might have been this Crip screwdriver. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But whatever was there did not make this a fantastic RDA, okay? It's still some bullshit. So, let's start with the, the actual RDA. I, I took my wick out and cleaned it up for you guys so you guys can see it. Um, now, you do... Get the clear section with each and every color that you pick, along with whatever color tube you pick. Like I said, I chose the stainless one, and on the stainless one, it has a picture of a submarine with 570, it's stainless focus, 571 RDA in it, okay? Um, it feels like it's etched in there, okay? Is that shit crooked? Oh, no, it's straight, okay. So that's that. It's just a plain old tube. I should have cleaned that one out. Okay. But it's nice and sturdy. I mean, it's it's kind of thick. Okay. <clears throat> so here's the piece of junk. Okay, so basically when I first got it, I was kind of confused. I was like, well, how are you going to get the turbine effect with your vapor? You're really not. You're really not. So this box, you know, personally, all of them are a little gimmicky, but this one is super gimmicky because when this air spins, it's got to stop spinning to go through those holes. You know what I mean? So let me take this apart so you can see what I mean. So as you pull on it, as you pull on it from the top, the air is sucking from the bottom, okay? And it's going through those fans and causing those fans to spin and then going through those holes hitting your coils and then it gets stopped here and goes through the edge to go through your mouth so you're not really the only i guess psych you know circle effect you would actually get is up here um the way that's designed and then you know it actually it's just round circles in there um to stop the circling effect this shit is so gimmicky. Um, so it really, it, it's it's garbage. Okay, let, let me finish. Let me stay on track. Okay, so let's start at the top. So here's the drip tip. It has those three holes in there. As you can see, it's a little wet in there. I, I just wrenched it out. But it has three holes, and then those holes come out the side right here. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. I'm sorry, it's four holes. Okay. Um, which I think this design of this drip tip is, is kind of nice. I, I like that. It's no, you don't get any spit back. Um, this is the nicest part of this, this actual piece. Okay. Um, it is wide bore, but you know, you're still limited to what will actually come through those holes. Okay. So that piece fits on here with one O-ring like so. And right now it's kind of snug. It, it really is. But soon as you put some liquid in there and you take a couple puffs, that liquid comes up and it makes this thing so easy to come off. I mean, forget about putting it in your pocket because when you reach in your pocket, this whole piece is just going to come right off or this top piece is going to come off. It, it's, it sucks. This is like you sit it down on a table, coffee table vape, um, and then you're sitting there looking silly because... You're sucking super hard to try to get this bottom fan to spin. spin. So let's keep working down. Okay, so it has a uh, four post design, you know, T-shaped design. So forgive my coils. I, I kind of off-centered them when I was pulling the cotton out of there. But it has two uh, generous holes on both sides to hit your coils. So it's, it's sort of set up like a freak show, um, that type of deal. Um, the juice well is not bad. It's kind of deep in there. It's not a bad juice well. Okay. 
But here is the problem. If you want this gimmicky ass fan to spin, okay? The problem is once a little bit of e-liquid drips down your air holes and touches that fan, that fan will not spin. I mean, it's hard enough to get the fan to spin on its own. But once e-liquid's down there, you can forget about it. You can just forget about it, okay? So let me take this bottom portion off because it does come apart. This spins off like so. Smooth threads, though. Then this glass piece comes off. Then this fan comes off. Okay. So here's your air holes down here. And like I said, once juice comes down there and just touches that fan, it's game over. No more spinning fan. Okay. So it has this extra. So I guess you could vape it like this because you can't control the airflow. There's no way to control the airflow through these slots. So you're getting, you know, one style vape, okay, and which is airy. <clears throat> um, and there's your 510 right there, <laughs> which I'm assuming is adjustable, but I don't even use this that much, so I can really care less if it's adjustable or not. But I'm assuming, I'm assuming this, <laughs> this pin doesn't go all the way up here, so it probably is adjustable, okay? But I didn't bother to find out shoot me fuck it this is some piece of shit anyway okay so here we go now that you would think those two o-rings these two o-rings are the burst offenders i mean this top stays on better than these two o-rings down here i had i did say okay well i'm just going to switch out the o-rings but then after i thought about it i said this shit is just so gimmicky what's the point what's the point i just wasted 25 bucks i threw it away gave it to him it's gone Done. Gone. Okay, now it does have some branding up here. Designed by a dummy. No. Designed by iCloud Sig. Okay. Translation designed by a dummy. Uh then it has like a little serial number, it looks like. I can't barely see. It says twelve fifteen. Maybe that was a year or time I don't know. It's it's some junk. I'm telling you now, it's some junk. Don't waste your money. Um, now, if this little will fit in something else, you know, you got this and a blue screwdriver that's, that's still ain't worth 25 bucks, but it's garbage. Okay, so let's put this garbage back together. So this goes on top like so. I forget what direction it goes. It don't matter because it don't spin anyway. Okay, so then you just stick this thing back on here and it's got buttery smooth threads down here. Very smooth, and that's it. That's it. Did I forget anything? Oh yeah, it's a piece of junk. Okay, <laughs> this piece right here. Once it gets a little bit easier, I'm telling you, this thing almost comes off itself. Um, now this one is a little bit more on there, but not by much. So, fan junk, O-rings junk, drip tip, pretty cool. So let's go back up top and then I'll really tell you how I really feel about it. All right. All right, we're back. And now I'm vaping on some of this, uh, the Mitsu uh, Crispy Dream. Crispy Dream. I think this is made more for a tank because it's kind of, I, I would think this is probably 50-50. But this is pretty good. It's called Crispy Dream. I got this from uh, 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 the Vape Chalet in Lower Maryland. Shout out to them. Um, visited them yesterday. Um, they showed me some love. I got some juice. I believe it's called Capital Capital something. Anyway, I got a review coming up on it. It's, it's kind of funny because it's named after all the slang uh, that's used in D.C. In D.C., they use slang like Bama. Um, you, when you go get fried chicken from Chinese curry outs, they give you what's called mumbo sauce. Um, they got one called mumbo sauce, uh, Bama something, uh, Marion Barry or something like that, you know, because of the, the mayor. But anyway, enough of that. Back to this bull crap. <clears throat> okay. So don't get me wrong. This is like 
you know, it, it once you if you look past the fan and all the other crap, it gives you a nice vape if you put a nice build on it. It gives you a freak showist type vape. But for the money, you might as well go buy a freak show. And then you don't, it, it, one, it ain't all this big. And the O-rings are much better on a freak show. So, you know, the design of how the air hits the coil, it's good. It's good. But that's it. That's it. Everything else about this thing is fucking garbage. Um, so... You know, maybe you got a perfect one, but this shit, I can't see how this shit is perfect in any way. There's, you know, even with the gimmicky part of the fan, you're not getting like a twisting effect because it's going through the holes and then it's going through these other holes. So it's just stupid. To me, it's, it's, I should have known better when I bought it, but you know how we get sometimes. We, you know, we see stuff. Oh, let me try that. Let me try that. This was one of those ones like, why the fuck did I buy this shit? Before I even left the store, because I built it in the store. Before I even left the store, I wanted to give it back. But me being me, I said, no, I'm going to keep it. And I'll just fucking bash the fuck out of it when I get around to it. And the day I got around to it. So let me take a toast. By the way, that fan ain't doing shit. If you look at this thing with focus, you can see some little bit of e juice got on it. And it's just... Stuck to the glass. Stuck to the fucking glass. It's 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 garbage. And by the way, I hope you don't think this guard is stopping it from getting air. It's it's still getting air. Um I'll take this guard off, put it like that. It's st it's still getting air and it won't spin. I don't think that bitch turned. I didn't hit the button, but since I got this thing off. Come on, son. Come on. There we go. That little bit of e-juice has stopped the fucking toy show. Um, yeah, this is a no-go. No, 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 no. This is garbage. I'll probably clean it up and send it to somebody. Um, don't ask me. I'll just probably send it to somebody random. Please, so please don't send me 100 messages. Oh, send it to me. Send it to me. Send it to me. I'm just going to send it to somebody random. Okay? Um, <clears throat> yeah, shout out to Vape Chalet. Um, they, you know, I'm starting to visit more of my local shops as my job takes me to different parts of the state. And, you know, I'm seeing a good variety of juices, devices. Some shops, you know, cater towards, you know, a lot towards the beginner people. Some shops, they have nothing in their display and they cater on making juice in the back. Some shops, you know have a good mixture of both so i'm starting to see you know what's what some stops shops just opened up and they got fucking three juices four starter kits and five drip tips you know but they're starting and they're trying so i get it um i'm starting to see all kind of stuff out there <clears throat> um I'm, I'm gonna leave that for another video let me take a toast just crispy dreaming you know uh uh it's good but I think it's more for a tank. For a dripper, it's it's a little too harsh because of the EG. I don't know. Something's going on. I put it in a tank. It was fine. You know, dripping it, it's a little too harsh. But anyway, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I do have some reviews coming up. I'm going to, you know, discipline myself and get back in front of this camera and start telling you guys about some of the stuff that I got. Um, one of the things that I got that I've been, you know, I got mixed feelings on is this free max, uh, star pro, um, I'll do a review on that coming up real soon and some other good stuff, some neat stuff. I got another tank. You fill it from the top. I don't have it in front of me, but it's called the keys landmark. That's pretty cool. Um, a whole bunch of juice. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And like I always say, if you know somebody that's on the Stinkies and they told you or they mentioned to you, hey, I want to stop smoking, and you have some old equipment around your house that you don't use anymore, maybe you even have a vape pen that you don't use anymore, and you got some higher nicotine juice, let that person borrow it for a week or two and tell them to check back with you in a week or two. And if they really like it, tell them where they can go get their own. Um, and that's it. That's it. That's it. I hope my freaking uh, intro music links on to the video last video I, I i put the intro music and all that good stuff when i uploaded and looked at the video a day later none of that shit was there so 
I hope my intro music pops up on this one. Um, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Until the next time, peace. Pay it forward if you can. Thank you so much for watching.